Hey everyone, today's project is this printer. So I got this printer about a month ago at my local thrift store. I stopped in just to see what they had and it was there for $4. It caught my eye because it looked old and it was really compact and I hadn't seen a printer like this before. And what this is, is a Diconix 150 inkjet printer. And um, these debuted in like 1985 or 86 as best I can tell. This was one of the first inkjet printers to see widespread use along with the HP ThinkJet line. These sold for $499 in 1989. $499 in today's money is a little over $1,000. Since this was $4, I figured I'd buy it and see if I could make it work. I took it home. The print had moved. The lights all lit up. So it seemed like it was maybe going to work. I paid $16 for a new ink cartridge for it. And surprisingly, you can still get them. I put the ink cartridge in it and it printed. I, I was able to get it to do its like test print and it worked. And someone on Twitter said I could probably get an Arduino to control this thing. And I thought that might make a fun project. So I found some code for an Arduino online that lets it communicate with the parallel port printer, which this printer is. This is the communications port right here. Uh, this is a specific kind of parallel port called a Centronics port or a Centronics connector. Uh, it has 36 pins. You don't use most of them. It just has eight data lines and then a couple other lines for like telling the printer, hey, I've sent data to you, read it, and then a line for the printer to tell the computer I'm ready for another piece of data. So uh, you send it 8-bit characters, ASCII characters, and it prints them. I put that Arduino sketch on an Arduino and I hooked it all up and I got it to work. You see where you put it. What you don't want is completely plain metal. So as I was playing around with the Arduino on the printer, I thought it might be fun to get it to print some ASCII art. And so I modified the sketch and I started printing some ASCII art. And I thought, you know, it might be fun to make this into more of a permanent project rather than just having an Arduino dangling with a bunch of wires. I thought it'd be cool to make it more self-contained. And so this is what I've come up with. It contains an Arduino Nano. It has a Centronics port that mates with the printer. It has a push button and it has an indicator light. And uh, yeah, so this has 10 pieces of ASCII art stored in it. And when you connect it to the printer, and you press the print button, the printer will print one of those 10 pieces of ASCII art at random. Just picks a random one and prints it. So why don't I show you how I built this thing and how this thing works. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to assemble this thing. Um, the board is done. Uh, I put the Arduino Nano on just a little piece of perf board here. There's some headers here. I've got two wires that are going to go to a push button, and then I've got an LED that's just going to show that the thing is powered on. This is the underside. Uh, I used clipped resistor leads to make these connections here. Um, because there's a lot of them lying around here and they make uh, easy, good connections. This is the enclosure. Uh, I 3D printed this out of some gray filament. Um, I kind of designed it to just look like a generic little, I don't know what, computer module. I gave you this little detail right here that I stole from Nintendo cartridges. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of a neat detail and the box is sort of boring by itself. It comes in two halves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, together now. So this is a Centronics cable that I've like reduced down to almost nothing. I cut it down just so it'll fit all inside of this box and I got rid of the extra wires. And it just slides into this slot here like so. And it has like a pretty good snug fit, so I don't even think I need to glue it really. This is a little like bezel for the LED. 
And it's going to just pop in there. If I can get it to go in all the way. There we go. So that goes in there. Um, and let's see. I guess I should connect the push button now. All right, this is the push button I'm using. The button has like a really nice clicky tactile feel, so I wanted to use it on here. And it looks good too. It like it kind of fits the the vibe. Oh, let's not screw this up. This has to go on this side. So I'm going to upload my sketch. I have used every bit of memory on this Arduino. We'll go ahead and upload that. Okay. One last thing before I close this thing up. I got a little advice on Twitter about how to make sure that my random, uh, my random function in my sketch is more random than pseudo-random. It's always going to be pseudo-random, but I was told to add an antenna to one of the analog read input pins and uh, so that's what I have here okay let's try it all right so here we go um, the little cartridge just plugs in right here on the side of the printer into this port here just slides right on and then it's actually powered by the printer itself so when I turn the printer on this thing should come on. All right, let's do another one. All right, it works. Awesome. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to post a link to my GitHub repository that has the code that's running on this uh, in the description below. So if you want to try this yourself, the code will be there. Um, I could make the STLs available for this thing. Uh, if someone wants to try printing it, um, I'm not sure that'll be super helpful because you'd have to modify it for your own push button. Um, you will have to find your own Centronics connector. But uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the STLs and I'll post a link to those as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.